the tragic death of Robert Urich and his wife. Robert Urich was known throughout the world as a tough guy, having starred in television programs such as Vegas and Spencer for Hire. However, many people don't realize that while Robert was famous for doing battle with tough foes on the screen, he would end up having to fight an even tougher battle later on in his life. Unlike the scripted episodes of the TV programs that made him famous, this was a battle he wasn't going to win. Robert Urich is remembered as a beloved TV actor, especially renowned for his roles as a detective in iconic series such as Vegas and Spencer for Hire. His journey into the world of acting led him to marry Heather Menzies in 1975, an actress who herself gained fame for her portrayal of one of the Von Trapp children in the classic 1965 film The Sound of Music. The couple's bond remained strong over the decades, enduring until a tragic turn of events led to their eventual separation. Robert Urich, born on December 19, 1946, in Toronto, Ohio, as the son of John Paul and Cecilia Monica, nay Halpat Urich. He had Rusin and Slovak heritage and was brought up in both the Byzantine Catholic and Roman Catholic faiths. Urich was a standout athlete in high school and went on to attend Florida State University, FSU, on a football scholarship. During the 1965-66 season, he played as a backup center for the FSU football team, although he saw limited game time. He was also a member of the Lambda Chi Alpha fraternity. In 1968, Urich completed his bachelor's degree in radio and television communications at FSU. He furthered his education at Michigan State University, where he earned a master's degree in broadcast research and management. After completing his education, Urich moved to Chicago, where he initially worked as a salesman for WGN-TV. His career path also included a stint as a weatherman, showcasing his diverse talents and setting the stage for his eventual move into acting. Urich's background in sports, combined with his academic achievements in communications and broadcast management, provided a solid foundation for his later success in the entertainment industry. Urich's career, while ending in tragedy, didn't have a bleak beginning. The actor, who would go on to win an Emmy, saw considerable success and fame at the height of his career. He consistently found work in the industry, right up to his untimely passing. His first foray into television was in 1973 with a minor role in Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice, which marked the start of his acting career. This was soon followed by another small part in SWAT, where he got a taste of the action-oriented roles that would later define his career. However, it was his role in Soap, a primetime comedy that parodied the then-popular soap opera format that offered him a more significant opportunity. Although his character was killed off in a dramatic cliffhanger at the end of the first season, this role was crucial in setting the stage for the greater achievements that awaited him. Urich's early experiences in television laid the groundwork for a career that would be remembered for its significant contributions to the entertainment industry, despite its ultimately tragic end. Robert Urich's ascent in the entertainment industry was significantly boosted when he secured the role of Dan Tanna, a private investigator in the television series Vegas. Airing from 1978 to 1981 on ABC, Vegas was a critical and commercial success, elevating Urich to the status of a household name and reinforcing his on-screen image as a rugged, determined detective adept at solving complex cases. Despite its relatively brief run, the series had a profound impact, solidifying Urich's position as a quintessential tough guy in the eyes of the viewing public. Building on this momentum, Urich later took on the lead role in Spencer for Hire, a television series adapted from Robert Parker's acclaimed Spencer novel series. This show, which aired from 1985 to 1988, further cemented Urich's successful career throughout the decade. 
portraying him once again as an unyielding investigator navigating the challenges of crime solving. After the conclusion of Spencer for Hire, Yurik continued to work in television, though the opportunities that came his way were less consistent than before. Nevertheless, it was his role in The Lazarus Man that would become one of his most notable later works. In this series, Yurik portrayed a man with amnesia wandering in search of his identity, a role that showcased his versatility. However, it was during the production of The Lazarus Man that Yurik encountered a personal and professional challenge that would overshadow his career, his diagnosis with synovial cell sarcoma, a rare form of cancer. Despite the severity of his diagnosis, Yurik was transparent with the production team, expressing his willingness and ability to continue working while receiving treatment. An agreement was made to accommodate his health needs, yet the show was prematurely canceled before its second season could commence. Eric believed the cancellation was directly related to his health condition, leading to a legal battle where he sued Castle Rock TV for approximately $1.5 million in 2000. The lawsuit was eventually settled out of court for an undisclosed sum. Throughout this ordeal, Yurik maintained a positive and gracious attitude, emphasizing that the dispute was merely a misunderstanding and highlighting the integrity of those involved. Yurik's battle with cancer, a stark departure from the fictional adversities he faced on screen, revealed his true courage and resilience. His unwavering optimism and dignified handling of his illness and the subsequent legal dispute underscored the depth of his character both on and off the screen. Yurik, therefore, is not only that of a talented actor, but also of a man who faced life's most daunting challenges with grace and fortitude. Robert Yurik's battle with sarcoma came to a tragic end on April 16, 2002, marking the loss of a beloved actor and a devoted husband. Throughout their marriage of over 25 years, Heather Menzies Yurik stood by his side, supporting him in his fight against cancer. Their enduring partnership was a testament to their shared strength and resilience, facing the challenges of Yurik's illness together until his final moments. However, Yurik's death did not signify the end of Heather's struggles with cancer, hinting at further personal battles she would have to endure. Before delving into the continuation of Heather's story, it's important to highlight her own accomplishments and talents. Although not as widely recognized as her husband, Heather Menzies Urich was an accomplished actress and ballerina in her own right. Her journey into the spotlight began when her family moved from Canada to Los Angeles during her teenage years, sparking her interest in show business. Heather Menzies Urich, born on December 3, 1949, in Toronto, Canada, emerged as a celebrated Canadian actress known for her captivating performances, most notably as Louisa Von Trapp in the iconic 1965 film The Sound of Music, and as Jessica Six in the television series Logan's Run. Heather was born to Scottish parents who moved to Canada from the United Kingdom after World War II in search of new beginnings. Her father, a struggling artist, instilled in her a life filled with creativity. Throughout her early years, Heather's family relocated multiple times, living in diverse locales such as Vancouver, Miami, London, and Southern California, all before she reached her 14th birthday. These experiences enriched her early life, providing her with a broad perspective on the world. Completing her high school education, Heather graduated from John Burroughs High School in Burbank, California in 1967. Her passion for the arts led her to further her education at Falcon Studios University of the Arts, where she refined her acting skills. Despite her initial lack of acting experience, Heather made her first television appearance in 1964 on the series The Farmer's Daughter, setting the stage for her breakthrough role. At the tender age of 14, she was cast as Louisa Von Trapp in The Sound of Music, 
a role that required her to sing So Long Farewell and The Lonely Goat Herd. This performance not only showcased her natural acting abilities, but also her talent as a singer, contributing significantly to the film's enduring legacy and solidifying her status as a memorable figure in cinematic history. Despite the prominence of this role, Heather's career in entertainment continued with a series of sporadic but noteworthy appearances. She met her future husband on the set of a commercial for Libby's corned beef hash, a serendipitous encounter that would lead to a lifelong partnership. As a versatile performer, Heather showcased her abilities in both acting and ballet across various platforms. Her career included minor roles in iconic television shows such as Bonanza, Dragnet, and The Bob Newhart Show, as well as feature films like Piranha and The Computer War Tennis Shoes. Heather's dedication to her craft combined with her skills in acting and dancing allowed her to make a lasting impact in the entertainment industry, even if she never achieved the same level of fame as her husband. After marrying Robert Urich, Heather Menzies Urich discovered her true calling not just in show business, but more profoundly in her family life and the advocacy work that would define her later years. Together, Heather and Robert welcomed three children, cultivating one of Hollywood's most stable and loving relationships. Their partnership was a beacon of mutual support and dedication, qualities that were especially evident as they faced Robert's cancer diagnosis together. The bond they shared was so profound that it came as no surprise when Menzies Urich channeled her grief and passion into a cause greater than her personal loss. Following Robert's death, she established the Robert Urich Foundation, an organization dedicated to advancing research on sarcoma and supporting those affected by the disease. This endeavor became Heather's passion project, a way to honor her late husband's memory and combat the illness that had taken so much from them. Heather's commitment to the foundation and its cause was not just about fulfilling a promise to her husband, but also about engaging in a fight that had deeply personal significance. Her work with the foundation allowed her to contribute to the search for cures and treatments for sarcoma, offering hope and assistance to others facing similar battles. Through this work, Heather Menzies Urich transformed her profound loss into a lasting legacy of hope and resilience, dedicating herself to a cause that would extend her impact far beyond her contributions to entertainment and into the realm of meaningful philanthropic work. In 2017, Heather Menzies Urich faced a heart-rending diagnosis of brain cancer, with doctors giving her just four weeks to live. Her battle ended on Christmas Eve of that year, as she passed away surrounded by the loving family she and Robert had nurtured. Their three children remained by her side, providing the same unwavering support Heather had given to Robert 15 years before. Despite the profound sadness of their losses, the story of Robert Yorick and Heather Menzies Yorick transcends tragedy, highlighted by the enduring legacy of love, resilience, and dedication to a cause greater than themselves. Their lives, though marked by their battles with cancer, are remembered not for how they ended, but for the impactful love they shared and the significant contributions they made towards cancer research and support. The creation of the Robert Urich Foundation is a testament to their shared commitment to fighting cancer, a legacy that continues to offer hope and assistance to those affected by the disease. The Foundation, under the stewardship of their children, including their son Ryan Urich, stands as a beacon of hope. Ryan inspired by his parents' experiences, pursued a career in medicine, aspiring to make a difference in the lives of those facing similar challenges. His journey reflects the profound influence of his parents' legacy, driving him towards a future where he can contribute to alleviating the pain and suffering caused by cancer. The story of Robert Urich and Heather Menzies Urich is a poignant narrative that weaves together threads of both profound sadness 
and inspiring hope. Their love story, marked by an unwavering bond until the very end, stands as a testament to their deep affection and mutual support through life's harshest trials. Heather's dedication to fighting the very disease that claimed her husband up until she faced her own battle with cancer underscores a commitment not just to her late husband's memory, but also to the broader fight against this merciless illness. Their marriage, spanning over two decades, exemplifies a kind of perseverance and love that seems increasingly rare, particularly among couples in the public eye. Despite the inevitable challenges and the glare of public scrutiny, their love endured, growing stronger even as they each faced their final moments. This enduring bond provides a beacon of light in a world often shadowed by darkness, offering a powerful example of love's capacity to transcend even the most formidable adversities. The legacy of Robert and Heather is not just a tale of tragedy, but a narrative rich with lessons on love, resilience, and hope. It's a reminder that even in the darkest times, love can shine through, offering strength and inspiration to those left behind. Their story encourages us to cherish our loved ones, support them through challenges, and contribute positively to the world in any way we can, just as they did through their fight against cancer and their enduring legacy. For fans of Robert Urich and Heather Menzies Urich, Reflecting on their favorite moments from the couple's careers or the most hope-inspiring aspects of their story can be a way to honor their memory and keep their spirit alive. Whether through their impactful performances on screen or their courageous battles off-screen, their legacy continues to inspire and influence, reminding us of the power of love and the importance of hope in the face of life's greatest challenges. Thank you for joining us on the Famous People channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. We value your engagement and look forward to sharing more fascinating stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye for now.